take it on a road trip, they said. It would be fun, they said. At least I think that's better. Well, ladies and gentlemen, welcome on back to TK's Garage. And today is kind of like the moment of truth. This is going to, to what you're going to see today is going to be kind of basically a mini test. Can you hear that wind? That's coming through a sealed window. Wow. Today's going to be kind of like a mini test. We're going to take the Pontiac Chieftain on a 250 mile round trip. And we're going to find out if she's going to make it and if she'll survive. And if she does, I think I'm going to drive this car to Vegas. Let's get it. So first things first, guys, I had to, you know, get myself all dressed and whatnot, which I am now. And we need to uh, run over to uh, O'Reilly's or AutoZone and pick up some lead additive. I wanted to have that in the car. So when I have to get fuel, which I'm sure I'm going to have to get fuel, um, we're going to do that. My average MPG from what I've had so far, and I may have covered this in another video for you guys already, is about 12.5 miles a gallon. And that's actually much better than I thought I was gonna get out of this car. I thought I was gonna get like six, seven, maybe eight, but not bad. But anywho, let's, uh, let's go out and see how the old girl looks and see if we can get her started. So there's baby number one and baby number two. And we're gonna go ahead and jump into her today. You can see the dust, I tried to wipe it off, but look at the dust. That just let me see if I can get out of that shadow. You can see it. It's just like it's almost like pollen, but it's it's winter time. There shouldn't be any friggin' pollen in the air. I don't know what that is, but uh, I wiped her down with the microfiber cloth. Get that dust off. But here she is, guys, in all her glory. Boop boop ba doo. All right, we're gonna run to the uh, auto parts store. We're gonna get some lead additive. Oh, boss. We will go from there. What I need to do now is get my keys. One thing I've learned to help this thing start a little better is I turn it on where the pump comes on for a minute. You know, like 30 seconds, then I let it sit for a second. Pump the gas once, maybe twice, let it sit for a second. And then try to fire her up. There she goes. Now she's gonna run a little rough because there's no choke. Everybody keeps telling me, pull the choke, pull the choke, pull the choke. There's no choke. There's no choke anywhere on this dashboard. There hasn't been a spot for it, okay? I don't know where, where the choke would have been at, all right? All I can tell you is, currently, there's no choke. <laughs> and there's no choke on the carb either. So I don't know, you know, the carburetor probably needs to be replaced, it is what it is. But we're gonna work with what we got crack my window because it is a little hot today Whew, i say hot but it's going to be cold but anyways we're going to let her idle for a few minutes here and um and she gets done you know once she's been running for about a good two three minutes we'll give her a little gas make sure we can bring the rpms up a little bit and then we'll hit the road so now we got her running for a couple minutes give her a little gas i think we're good so what we'll do now is we'll drop the e-brake and we'll hit the road, man. We're going to drive her a little bit. All the way down. Clutch. Reverse. Now, somebody told me one of the things that would help me drive this old girl where she wasn't stalling or wasn't grinding in the gear was when I try to go to first, if I go to second first, because there's no synchros on first, right? And then come in, I should be able to... Nope. Oh, wait a minute. That might be first. Nope. Probably third I was in. This is the thing that's a pain in the ass. Okay, so I'm in second. I come down, over. And it just, it just doesn't. And you can't, I'm like, I try to finesse it. It doesn't want to go. There it is. I think we got it that time. 
Yep. But that's the thing. When you're at a light or something and you want to try to drive this thing. Oh, damn. The camera don't want to stay up. And you want to try to drive this thing. It's not happening. It's it's like a it's a bear. You know, like you're going to be at the light for almost the whole light trying to get into gear. You know what I'm saying? It doesn't make any sense to do that, you know? So that's just where I'm at with it. It drives me a little nuts. But let's go ahead and hit it. We're in first. She's going fine in first now. Second. Cool. So we're going to hit the auto parts store up get this uh lead additive and then we're gonna hit the road evidently my tripod doesn't like me right now so uh we'll come back and we're rolling ladies and gentlemen we are rolling no sense for me to even come out of second gear here as we're just rolling down the street we're gonna hit auto zone like i said we're gonna pick up this uh lead additive we'll drop it in the tank and then um we're gonna get started on this little road trip, man. It's gonna be very interesting to see how she uh, how she performs, you know. So, uh, woohoo! <laughs> I'm nervous. I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm nervous as hell. I'm nervous as all hell. So we've made it to uh, AutoZone. Let's go in here and see if we can get some uh, some lead additive. <sighs> All right, guys, so we got the uh, motor medic lead substitute. And drop this into the tank. And we're gonna take this thing on a, on a road trip, man. I know you guys are saying, TK, you are absolutely crazy. This car needs so much stuff. Why would you do that? Why not? Why not is what I say. Why not? Put the gas cap down there, open this up. Major shout out to uh, Randy for telling me about this too so I didn't screw it up. All right, hold on, I gotta put you guys down for a second. All right, let me find out that this thing doesn't wanna, it says push down. Oh, uh, I thought it was a squeeze. It's a push down, all right. And then I'm gonna stab this thing with one of the keys. Now this is a lead substitute. I really don't want to touch it with my fingers. I'm not going to lie to you. I just want it to be able to pour into this tank. So let's see if she uh, goes in there nice and easy. Which it looks like it does. Seven bucks. So you figure on a 20 gallon tank, you're adding another seven bucks in cost to add this every time you fill up. So, yeah. Now, the good thing about a lead substitute or lead period, if you didn't know this, it, it massively raises the octane level. So if you're already running 91 or 93 and then you put lead substitute in, there's a whole nother situation to it. <laughs> How's it going, boss? Woo. Yeah, she's not done yet. The whole interior got to be done. The whole interior? Yeah. The seats the door are... panels and everything? Yeah, the, the door panels and stuff are uh, missing at the moment, but... How much time have you put? Uh, I don't know, four days? Four days? That's it. Damn. Yeah, she just came out of auction. Uh, another YouTuber that's here locally had it before me. Oh, he did? You're a YouTuber? Yeah. Oh, hell yeah, man. Fucking sick. Yeah, we're going to see if it makes it back to North Carolina. You're going to drive just like that? Yep. No wonder you're at the Yeah, that's it. All right. Thanks. I love that, man. I love when, uh, like this thing, I will be honest, I think... The GTO got a, got a lot of looks and like the Challenger people would always be like, that car looks clean. But I've had so many people outside of the Jaguar. Maybe this is about equal to what the Jaguar XJS was. <laughs> I had a lot of people that come up and ask questions about this car. What happened? Uh oh. Oh, he's asking what my channel was. You said what the channel was? Yeah. TK's Garage. Garage? Yeah. You'll see it. There's a few videos on there now. TK Garage. Yep. TK, damn, 54.9 thousand subscribers. Yes, sir. Am I going to be on it? Yeah. All right, bet, man. <laughs> you got social media? Yeah. Where can they find you at? Uh, Snapchat. What's your Snapchat? Snapchat is DM uh -huh. underscore Marquez. That's what's up. Yeah. All right, man. Find me on there and 
Don't worry, buy me. If you ever go to a car show, I like seeing them classic rides. Hell yeah. All right, man. All right, boss. See, I love that. And then he's like, yeah, I need to find your channel. What's your channel? Da, 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 da. I've been getting that a lot too. All right, guys. So now, now comes the hard part. <laughs> Let's take her on a road trip. We're heading on a trip in our little rocket ship. I just got demonetized for that probably. <laughs> All right, guys, so we are on the road. We hit it. You know, I like to try to be nice to people, but, like, there's a, a red Challenger back there. And, you know, it has that common issue where your tag light falls out and his tag light had fell out. And, uh, you know, you try to flag him down and let him know. And then people look at you like you're fucking crazy or some shit. And it's like, bro, wasn't nobody trying to do nothing but try to help you. And you're looking at somebody like somebody's trying to rob you or something. I don't know. That's what I get for trying to be a nice person. Third gear. Third gear. Woo! All right. 248 miles to go. <laughs> oh, this is going to be fun, man. Let's see how the old girl does, shall we? She's already up at 190. I'm hoping that, yo... I need her to stay cool, man. <laughs> I do not need this thing running hot at all. Oh, I do love how she handles stuff like this, like these railroad tracks and stuff. Like in a normal car, you go over and it's like, blang, blang. But this thing like, watch this. She just floats over it. Like you don't even feel the tracks. Oh, wow. And the camera just told me to pound sand. Anyways, so we're rolling, guys. We are rolling 100% here. They go to the police. The police! So, guys, we're rolling. And remember, I had, like, the temp issue before. And... I don't know, I guess 220 might be closer to normal for this thing, but she's in between 200, she's at about 210 right now. I really don't like that. I, would, I, would, I like it to run a little colder, but we're rolling, man. We're running these roads. We're moving, we're moving on up, man. Rolling around about 45 right now. And uh, so far, so good. She's just eating miles, man, eating miles. No other issues to uh, to speak of, for real. She's just driving along down the road, enjoying life. So we're like 60 miles in and um, the temperature has got a lot better, but she's failing, man. I keep losing speed and she keeps bucking. I'm down to 40 now. Oh, crap. She's just bucking. Take it on a road trip, they said. It would be fun, they said. At least we're off the highway. Let me see if I can find a place to stop if she'll keep some damn power. Well, <laughs> that's about it. Now I can get the fuel pump to turn on. Nothing, nothing. I know it's not an issue with power because I still hear the fuel pump coming on. Oh, look, this, look, I'm out here. I'm out here with friggin' cows, man. Cows. This is not my natural environment, man. Moo moo. Moo moo, motherfucker. <laughs> what you gonna do, man? What you gonna do? There's not much you can do. 
Uh, well. All right, I gotta figure out, I'm gonna go through some of the wires and stuff on it. Maybe, uh, it doesn't make sense that the car would lose power and then the starter doesn't work. I don't know. But now it's time for me to tinker with it and figure out what's going on. So we're gonna get into it right now. I'm gonna go through it and see if, uh, if I can find out exactly what's going on with the car. So, uh, Let's get into it. You know, the police ain't even trying to stop. They don't want to help or nothing. They're just like, F this dude. All right. Let me find, let me, let's figure it out. So we got our ignition wire, our ignition and stuff right here, right? All the wires in there look good. I checked the fuses and stuff. Nothing is blown up there. So that's not an issue. So then I'm like, well, shit, man. So I also got out of the car and I tried to arc the starter with uh, a screwdriver and it does hit but it doesn't move it's like clunk um and the key like i said is doing literally nothing yeah i know i know i know it was at this moment that he knew he fucked up so what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to call AAA. The battery on the GoPro is down to like 15%. And uh, I'm not going to screw with it. I'm just going to get a tow truck to come get me. We'll tow it back. And then I'll try to figure it out and see if it's a starter or something else. Something else. So we'll see what's going on with it. Anywho's. Oh, I appreciate it. Man, that totally restores my faith in humanity when people still do stuff like that, man. He was like, I'll sit here and wait with you till the tow truck gets here or whatever. Man, I love people like that. That's awesome, man. That's awesome. Well, that helped me pass about 30 minutes of my time. I still probably got another 30 minutes before the tow truck gets here. I'm going to go ahead and wrap up today's video, guys. I know you're enjoying this. You like to see me hold an L. I'm holding an L right now. Trolls rejoice, but I will be winning. I will tell I will turn this L into a W. Just wait and see. Um, or I'll take this L and I'll turn it like this. Told y'all trolls. With that said, I want to thank everybody very much for watching. Thank you for watching this series. You guys watching this is going to allow me to pay to fix this car. <laughs> oh damn it, man. I knew I shouldn't have went out this far, man. But you know, that's the whole part of this series. So uh, with that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Thank you guys very much, man. Make sure to hit the thumbs up button. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. All of my sponsors are linked in the description down below. From Coinbase to Robinhood, Los Mobile, Ridge Wallet, Mint Mobile, and everybody else. All linked in the description down below. And make sure to go follow me on Amazon because that's really what's going to be paying my bills on this thing. Because this thing is going to get expensive. $450 carb. I knew I should have waited. I knew I should have waited. I should have put the carburetor on this damn thing first before I tried to drive this damn thing, especially after seeing all of that crap that was in there. But, you know, sometimes you just you just like to do wild shit, and I did some wild shit, and, and I'm paying for it. With that said, I want to thank you guys very much for watching. Uh, I appreciate it. Stay tuned. There'll be more videos coming in the series. And, uh, yeah, evidently I got to get it right. We got to be able to have it drivable before I can sell it. But, uh We'll see what happens. And maybe I won't sell it. Maybe I'll keep it. But I've been getting some crazy offers. I ain't gonna lie. I have been getting some crazy offers. And, and I mean, if you want to make me an offer on the car, like I said, everything is for sale. Everything is for sale. If you want to make me an offer on the car, you know, I just bought a $460-something dollar carburetor for it. Um, I will put that on there and whatnot. But if you, if you do want to buy the car, you can shoot me an email uh, in the About section on my YouTube channel here. Maybe I'll, maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll sell it. Maybe I'll list it on Bring a Trailer. I don't know. So, as you guys can guess, the GoPro died at that point. And then video afterwards, where I actually got it back to the shop, uh, yeah, I didn't turn my mic on, so I had a bunch of just dead audio. Damn. Anywho's, um, needless to say, it was cool to go out and run the car, and I found out what the problem was. 
there was no fuel filter on the car. Well, two things. We had replaced the battery the day before, and this isn't on uh, Austin, this is on me. Um, and then I was going through wires and other stuff that were under the dash, and I have these big clod hopper feet, okay? I got big ass feet. Well, the fuse panel is literally like down on the ground, or it's not actually on the ground, it's kind of up, right? And to sit in that car comfortably, I kind of either lean like this or I kind of lean like that, and I stretch one leg or the other out when I'm just rolling down the highway. Well, I'm a genius. I knocked out, and it's old school fuses. They like snap in like this, right, with the bar. I knocked out a couple of those. I, I didn't know. And it not did I just knock one out, but I broke the glass around one of the fuses. Um, I don't know if that was the actual cause of it constantly losing power. I think it's because I was on a steady incline. That said, that's not an issue anymore uh, with the carburetor. It runs and everything fine. You guys will see that in, in future videos here on the channel, but... Um, who else is, I, I bet people would want it, wanted me to see me drive that thing back to the East coast or drive it to Las Vegas in that video. But that's why I wanted to take it out on kind of like a test run and see if it was actually going to survive. That said, I have got a ton of offers on this damn car, man. Uh, everything from Harleys and everything. And I'm going to do a video on that for you guys. And, and I'm going to show you some of the, the offers that were, that were given. And I'm really not in a mood to really trade the car. I don't think, I mean, it would have to be some really BMW type stuff that I'd want, right? Like maybe like the right challenger. Like if somebody came to me with like a, a 2010 to 2012 challenger of some type, maybe I'd be interested in that. Or maybe a like an srt8 chrysler 300 clapped out obviously you know so the value is equal um or like a bmw 8 series not a new 8 series a 90s 8 series uh something like that otherwise i'm not really looking at trading the car i did a video here on it where we talked about what the values are and i've already reached out to people that bring a trailer and um they have no, they, they will send somebody out and take photographs or get, hire a local person to come out and take photographs of it and throw it up on the site and feature it. And being that it already had all the media attention that it did on all the different websites, they'd probably feature it again and talk about how this car is now for sale. Um, do I think I'm going to get more than what I paid for the car? Yes. Like that's guaranteed. Um, you know, I'm basically 4,300 bucks into that car. Well, Tag, tax, all that good stuff. Let's say 4500 bucks, right? Um, with the carb and the other stuff, right under five grand. So realistically, if I got like 7500 out of that car, maybe eight grand, I'd be good with that. Um, but we'll see what happens. You never know. I may just decide to keep it. It's not like I haven't sat on a car and then you guys don't see it for a long time before. <laughs> so anyways, um... Uh, yeah, let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Got to give a major shout out today to the sponsors of today's video. I got two for y'all today. The first sponsor of today's video is brought to you by Ridge. That's right, Ridge Wallet. Uh, Ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage. And I, I have to tell you, man, or use the coupon code TK's Garage at checkout. You know, this is clearly way more cards than you're supposed to have. <laughs> in your Ridge wallet, but it works for me. And I've even added like new things in here that are not actual cards. Uh, namely my, my, uh, mini saw and bottle opener. And it does a bunch of other weird things too, but I love this thing. It's, it's actually great. And I have all these other, um, credit cards and whatnot in here. Uh, that I'm probably more than I'm supposed to, but that's how durable this thing is. And, and you can see there's no stretch marks or nothing on the material. It just holds it. It works great. And I love it because I can clip on this end on the inside of my pocket and there's no chance for it to come out when I clip it on. I could also clip cash into here. They have one of the best purchase policies that, that you can find. 45 days, try it before you buy it. Highly recommend them. Ridge.com forward slash TK's Garage. Go check them out. Uh, and today's other sponsor I want to talk about is Coinbase. Link is in the description down below. If you haven't seen all the craziness that's going on right now in the world between 
this new variant that is coming out that is threatening to do all this stuff. And I'm willing to bet you we'll be talking about this like crazy over the next few weeks. And uh, all the other, you know, uncertainty, insecurities. Here's the thing. You know, gold used to be a massive store of wealth. And now it's kind of cryptocurrencies, right? Bitcoin, stuff like that. There's massive opportunity for growth in there. And uh, Coinbase wants to get you started with some free money. Basically, you hit that link in the description down below. Sign up for a Coinbase account. They're going to give you $10 in free Bitcoin. If you fund your account with whatever you want to put in it, they're going to give you another 5 bucks. And then if you just look at all the other cryptos that they have, they have little like lessons. They take like 10 to 30 seconds a piece. They give you free crypto of all of the other altcoins. You don't have to keep those altcoins. You could sell them, trade them, convert them to Bitcoin. When it's all said and done, they're giving away anywhere between 30 to 35 bucks at current market values and cryptocurrency for free. Go sign up. Link in the description. All right, guys, that's going to be it for me. We're going to go ahead and get out of here. I appreciate you guys watching. If you guys enjoy the content with the Purple Heart, a.k.a. the 1953 Pontiac Chieftain, let me know in the comment section down below and what you guys want to see from that car next. Thank <laughs> you.